Yeah. I think GLL could have been, well, remember, like, GLL was me after GLL. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I was writing about the past. But like we said yesterday, you, you can't, like, you can't have, it's a business. A blog is a business mm-hmm. if you're treating it seriously. And you can't be having this, you know, going out five nights a week or something like I did for a number of years. It wouldn't even be feasible to write those articles. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be, especially if I was getting laid, you know what I'm saying? Because you're spending more time with, yeah, it's just, um, so I feel the timing was off, but it wasn't off by that much. Uh, I wish I had incorporated Scotty more, but neither of us had any money and he lived in New York and I lived in LA and. Oh, really? I thought you guys for some reason like lived in the same area. We, we, well, we did when he came out to LA for a bit. And then, um, is his family in New York or why does he live there? They were in New York. I think they all moved to, um, to give it away in the South. So yeah, he got away from New York. Um, but yeah, he was born and raised on Long Island and, um, it was, uh, well, no one ever saw, like I did what I could and got video of what I, what I could, mm-hmm. but you know, this was before, this is shooting this on a cell, like on a phone, yeah. you know, we're just, these videos today where they're perfectly shot and you know, there's three camera angles. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But the videos on the phone, the grainy footage, but then you can't hear what's going on. Yeah. Um, he looked like he could be flashy, but he wasn't. Mm-hmm. He had mono, pretty monotone voice and uh, really white teeth, and he just smiled all the time. Huh. So you get a guy who looks like you know he just got out of prison, and uh, he's got a big smile on his face, uh, good looking, built, and stuff like that. It's like certain girls like really, hmm. really would dig that. So I would always say like when it came to strictly getting laid, yeah, uh, best best I ever seen, honestly, hmm. fastest I've ever seen. Um, and that's all he went for. You know, he went for the low hanging fruit. And it was like from watching him, also myself though, that I, you know, got the whole sexual availability type of thing. Yeah. And I was like, it, it was just like time and place. In a way, it is getting lucky. Did but, you come up with all like the names of those concepts or was he yeah. sort of. No, I got I got them all. Oh, yeah. nice. I, I, I put them into words, I guess. And um, yeah, it was, <laughs> uh, it was, um, no regrets from it at all. Would you change the approach anxiety program yep. if you redid it? Yeah. Well, I'd make it more current for one, and then it would be I don't know. I think I um I always wanted to make it like, and I'm not about selling dating advice, but if I really did put like a thousand hours or two thousand hours into creating it, you know, it would be something like ten bucks or something for mm-hmm. you know, and it would be a video of every drill and stuff like that. I just it it. I didn't have anyone to tape. I don't know. It was just, there was a lot of, um, I would, I would do it differently. Yeah. For one, I could barely like write a blog post with it without the pictures being on one side and everything. So there was, there was a bit of that until I found that out. But, um, yeah, I think I would do the AA thing differently. I don't even know that I would call it AA. Hmm. I try to distance yourself from those, those kind of, those terms. Yeah. But, um, the concepts effective exposure therapy works for anything, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely. 